get yourself over there now to go and watch the uncut versions of Blood Brothers. How are we doing guys? Welcome to UFF Daily. So it's transfer deadline day, but before I go and get into any potential deals, let's go and look at last night's game and there's no better place to start than Chelsea's humiliating performance at Bournemouth. 4-0. They got absolutely battered, slapped about. Now Maurizio Sarri, he spent about an hour in the dressing room after the game with just the players. He kicked out all of the coaching staff, including assistant Gianfranco Zola. And um, you can only imagine what was being said. Now, I know that social media is very reactionary and um, you kind of got to take everything with a pinch of salt in terms of what you see. But a lot of Chelsea fans are now calling for a change of manager. They want Sarri out. It's as simple as that. Jose Mourinho is looking for a job. Maybe they'll bring him back for a third time. Who knows? But listen, that was not great. And um, the result was justified. They got absolutely battered. Now, something else that was significant with that result, because they lost 4-0, it meant they dropped down from fourth into fifth place and Arsenal have now taken the fourth place spot based on goal difference. Now, I know there's going to be a lot of twists and turns and I know that Arsenal have got Manchester City away this weekend. So by the end of the day, we'll probably end up being sixth. But it just shows how tight things are for the race for the top four. And that if someone really, really wants it, and puts a run together, they can go and get that fourth spot. Um, and even third place, that's up for grabs, despite the fact that Spurs won last night against Watford. Now, they were losing 1-0 with 10 minutes to go. And then Son, who's back from the Asia tournament, um, goes and gets a lifeline for Spurs, and then they snatch it again at the death. But they're just scraping through at the moment. I know their fans ain't going to really care because they're getting the three points. But how long will they be able to keep doing that? Be interesting to see. Um, another game was Liverpool against Leicester. And it was a chance for Liverpool to capitalise on Manchester City's defeat. But they weren't able to. It was 1-1 at Anfield. Um, Saido Mane um, got Liverpool off to an absolute flyer in the first couple of minutes. Um, Harry Maguire equalised just before the stroke of half-time. And then um, the talking points are the pitch. Because at half-time, the ground staff went and cleared the penalty area that Liverpool were attacking in the second half. Now, if you haven't seen the pictures, it was snowing quite heavily um, up at Liverpool. And they cleared that penalty area, but they left the other one. Now, I don't know if there's any rules whether they're allowed to or not allowed to do this. And it's a bit of gamesmanship. And if it gets them the upper hand, then fair play. But it didn't get them the upper hand. And Jurgen Klopp, after the game, actually, you know, had a little moan about the pitch and the conditions and saying that it didn't help with their fast tempo of play. But listen, both sets of teams have to play in those conditions. And... Um, Leicester would be really happy with that and they've got themselves a point. And I know that Liverpool have gained a point on Manchester City. But given the fact that Man City did lose, Liverpool will feel that that's two points dropped. So um, some very, very eventful games, like I said. And um, yeah, I really enjoyed watching some of those last night. Now, of course, some of the transfers. Now, I'm going to run through these, OK? So because there's obviously a lot going on, a lot of rumours and everything. Denis Suarez, of course, looks like he's an Arsenal player now. It was announced on the Barcelona website last night, and then it was removed about an hour later, and I think that's more to do with the fact that Arsenal are the team that want to announce it, and they've probably got some video or footage or whatever. And But yeah, I presume that's going to get announced today. I hope it does anyway, because I've actually released a Welcome to Arsenal video be because Barcelona went and announced it. So can you imagine if that actually fell through now? Cheers. 
But um, yeah, some of the news that's going around, Real Madrid are apparently making a £100 million bid for Marcus Rashford um, before he signs a new deal at Manchester United next summer. Now, of course, this is all paper talk, rumours, etc, etc. And this one is not so much more for today, but in the summer. Um, so we'll have to wait and see whether Real Madrid come through or not. Um, Newcastle are in advanced talks over a transfer of non-winger Anthony Limbombe. Um, so yeah, we'll wait and see whether that one happens. Um, Cardiff are plotting a last ditch transfer for Spurs flop Vincent Janssen, um, which will try and help solve their striker crisis. Um, Maurizio Pochettino has apparently turned down a deal to land Barcelona forward Malcolm this month. Um, Arsenal youngster Emil Smith-Rowe, he's um, on his way to Germany where he's going to be on loan at RBC Leipzig uh, for the rest of the season. And apparently he's actually turned down a chance of moving to a top 10 side in the Premier League in favour of a move to Germany. Um, Wolves have been urged to scrap their pre-match firework display after a rocket went into the crowd. It's a bit of a strange one. Um, but yeah, I haven't actually seen any footage of that or anything, but apparently, um, yeah, that's what's happened. So yeah, interesting. Um, Pep Guardiola will apparently gamble on the fitness of Edison um, and will not make a deadline day move for the goalkeeper. Um, Southampton have apparently had four Premier League clubs make inquiries about striker Charlie Austin. Um, Leeds United will pay a million pound to loan Swansea's Daniel James with an option to buy if they are promoted. Um, Chelsea are looking at Watford midfielder Abdoulaye Decore um, for a transfer deadline day switch today apparently. Um, Olivier Giroud, um, he's on West Ham's transfer radar. Now of course, I know he only signed last, um, when did he actually go? I can't actually remember when he left Arsenal, but it was last season. Um, January, wasn't it? And um, his contract actually runs out at the end of this season. So uh, maybe West Ham might get him and try and solve their uh, striker woes, shall we say. Um, West Brom want a winger with uh, Swansea's Jefferson Montero and Newcastle's Jacob Murphy, their targets. Um, now, uh, this is an incident that I actually see yesterday. I saw some video evidence of this and Edin Dzeko, um, he uh, spat in the referee's face last night in Roma's 7-1 defeat of Fiorentina. Um, and like I said, I saw the video and it does not look good and he's looking for one hell of a lengthy ban for that, that's for sure. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much it to be quite honest with you. Like I said, there's going to be a lot going on today. Um, it's transfer deadline day and I'm sure things are going to start heating up um, within the next few hours. So that is pretty much it for today's UFF Daily. I will be back tomorrow. So until then, I'll see you a lot soon. I'm out of here.